Hello everyone, welcome back to the Belknet Forum Clash Finals. Best of seven between your trash and risk. We just finished game one, we're going into game two now and on overgrowth. In game one, we had uh, your trash going for the early help at play with the Marines, trying to get some damage done on Risk, catching him off guard on what is otherwise known as a pretty standard macro map. But Risk was prepared for that. He had the roaches going out all, all the way, going for Roach Hydra to also do something a little offbeat to throw his opponent off in the game number one. And he managed to take that game with um, pretty swift ease. So, going into game number two now. We're here on Deadwing, spawning down here in the bottom right, playing for Integrity Gaming. We have the Red Terran. I'm Euro Trash. Spawning up here in the top left, playing for Immortal Gaming. He's the Blue Zerg. He is Risk. So, Deadwing here. This is a four player map. Um, both these players don't know where each other are. It could be um, vertical or horizontal, or I mean vertical or cross, and it is cross spawn, which means we should be in for, for a pretty long game. Yeah, it could be. I mean, Deadwing is a very popular map for mech, let's be honest. Terran players love this map to bits because they get to play mech like they want to. Uh, it's very hard for Zerg to break it. I've had, I have a lot of experience with it. I'm, yeah, I think you might as well. And it's just very hard to break mech on this map, uh, which might be exactly why you're trash. Uh, either goes mech or tries to meta the meta and go bio. Yeah, he went mech in the last game trying to do something a little uh, weird there. I've never seen him go mech before out of all the games I've seen him, which is really weird that he just like chose to do that. Um, I guess the way that his, his build worked out, he already had the armory, so like why not just get plus one and go into mech, because like, transi transitioning from like a banshee held that into mech is like, fairly easy, so. And uh, this is the, the map to do it on though, you're right. In these positions, you look down here, that's the only choke point you need to defend by ground, and maybe behind the rocks, but it's such a choke point that I don't think anyone's going to walk up that and just, the units are just going to a meat grinder, so. Yeah, this map is really easy to defend by mech. Really hard for Zerg to break, and but on cross spawn, that also means if he chooses to go bio, it's very very hard to win games against Zerg with bio on this map. It's only on the cross spawn though, because if you look at the distance you have to you have to travel to just attack the Zerg, it's pretty absurd. So we'll see here. It's either your trash goes for bio and has a harder time, it goes for Mecha and has a much easier time. But like I said, he's a lot better at bio than he is at Mech, so. It's kind of a dilemma here, and we'll see how he plays it out. Well, you know, I think Risk wants to just throw something in the wheel here. Um, with his six Zerglings that came out of his 13 pool. <laughs> he get, he went for really fast gas, got speed, pulled out of gas. Oh, now he's pulling back in again. And he just made six slings, and he's going to try to wing it. And I mean, if your trash is gritty, which he's not completely. I mean, he's pretty gritty, but not super. I mean, he could, uh, he could get punished severely. The Reaper does see it now, though, and that might get punished pretty severely now. Look at that. Ooh, the Reaper saw it. Yep, he's going back. This is actually very risky because these, these slings are going to have speed soon, and four slings with speed can definitely kill a Reaper. And there's simply more on the way. Risk actually going for the hatchery um, right now, and a bailing nest, still mining that gas. He wants to do some kind of bust, and I don't I don't blame him on, on this map. Like, you expect a Zerg player to just play pretty greedy sometimes even going three hatch before pool not not this time risk going to the natural right now actually canceling that cc for now or at least delaying it the um wall is up for for um your, your trash but he's actually blocking it right now with the <laughs> lings speed is done and look at that oh the lings might or might not be across on the lings no but you do get two scvs right now i mean that's already a pretty significant loss he's gonna need to do more though because if you look at the units 13 drones versus 18 scvs uh, the bunker is not gonna complete before these wings arrive, and they might get another kill. Maybe not. So I think that's enough tear and firepower though to hold on to these um, small groups of lanes. With good micro, um, you should be able to do it. This reaper. Oh, hey, there's more lanes coming on the way, and actually, um, Look only he's gonna need to pull more SCVs. This is getting really dangerous. Look at that! More SCVs die. Two marines already dead. More lanes are streaming across the map. Marine after marine dying. 
Check the APM of both players right now. Spiking above 200 pretty fairly right now. <laughs> yeah, These guys are uh, actually Euro Trash is trying to make the CCs or morph the orbital right now with the Lings attacking it. He, he's gonna have to stop that. No, you can't finish that. That's too greedy. Oh, can he get it? I'm looking at more. Oh wow, still 150 health, and he's floating it back. He's got bigger things to worry about. All these banelings are actually uh, getting their vision blocked by the CC. <laughs> Is he gonna have enough to hold this? That's a lot of lings, though. I mean, he's gonna need to do some super micro. Look at that. A lot of SMG Yeah, I risk just here. a moving into this. He's gonna. He's doing so much damage right now, just killing all these. No, the um, orbital finally getting repaired, but that's actually taking a valuable resource that he needs to spend right now on, on units. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. So this spider pole is being rebuilt, so the zipper is locked up for now. But he can just go back to drawing him like exactly like he is. He still has about. Oh well, okay. He had 18 links, but now he has six less, and he has six balance more. Uh, he's gonna try to bust again, but he's droning behind this. So slowly but surely, he's getting ahead of his opponent's economy, but still is super, super aggressive, keeping his opponent behind. You know what? I think what he wants to do here is actually kill that command center. If he busts that down and focuses fire that, he might actually put the rear trash just deadly behind. <laughs> the barracks almost died too. Look at that. Oh. Spanning's looking to get a deadly hit on the Hellion. Not gonna happen just yet, though. Oh, it did. It did just there. And more as if he's dying. Yeah, lowering quite a bit of units into the red there, and not managing to finish them off. Um, Your trash caught up a little bit of a break there. Looks like he's finally gonna uh, clean this up. Risk has gone back to droning right now. And as you can see, he's uh, a little bit ahead. But um, with the mules, I think. Your trash will be alright. You can see the supply is not that big of a difference given what happened in this game, so. That's true, but oh wow. Okay. So, Alaire off of one gas at nine minutes after a Ling main lust. That's pretty quick. I think something's telling me he wants to go two base mid and wants to go for it now. I mean, he's making spines so that he doesn't have to make a bunch of zerglings. He has to make a couple of queens though to, uh, to actually, you know, inject those hatcheries. Uh, needs to make a couple more drones to f fill these gas, and then we'll know if it's if, if it's a two base um, unit play, which is what it seems like right now. Well, to be honest, I I don't know. I've been following this game for a long time, and I th I think I'm fairly knowledgeable, but I have no idea what the hell he is doing right now. I've never seen Lair off one gas for Zuri against Terran. I don't know what he could be. Maybe ro ro roaches? Like, if he was going for Muta, he would have all his gases already. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, swarm host maybe an in infestation pit. I don't. You can. You need two guys for that though, not just one. Yeah, for sure. At least. I mean, one is very minimal, even for Ling Bane Bus. I mean, you can. Do oh, that is that a Nidus worm? Pit. Is that? Oh, no, it's a, it's a spire. It's a spire. Yes. Oh. He's well, he's monsters. not gonna have many mutas. He's gonna have like <laughs> three mutas. <laughs> well, can he get the Widowmine in time? Yes, he can. Good job, Risk. All right. So the the Widowmine has been taken out, uh, just in time. I wasn't sure that was. Possible, but apparently it is, and it was just one widow mine as well. So the Manifac is uh, on retour, uh, home to the Terran base, and uh, more making more uh, drones is what Risk now can do. He's taking, I think, the third gas, and maybe the fourth. Not yet, not yet. But <laughs> I mean, look, he only has 100 gas, and the spire is already halfway done. How is he gonna do this? Yeah, this is kind of a weird play. I thought I figured he'd be going for something different, but I guess he could go for the spire if he wants. Um, he's gonna need some a bit more units right now, cause uh, that's a hell or that's a medevac full of two hellions and four marines, and that could kill a lot of lings if that's microed properly. Not just lings, but also drones. More importantly, and I mean that's that's what really matters when we want to go mutas. We need so many drones to support it. Okay, he's on top of it though. If he was not on top of that, that could have actually done a crazy amount of damage. Let's be honest. Yeah, he would have to. He would have to um, retreat all those um, drones back into his main because you can't clean that up with just a small poultry amount of lings. You need more DPS in that, or at least a hell of a lot more lings. <laughs> As many mutas as Risk can actually buy is co are coming out right now. And you know, the magical number is four. <laughs> he can only produce four mutas and then he's out of gas. This is pretty, pretty dire for him right now. Four is not gonna cause uh, your trash to lose the game, but I mean, you know, he can still catch him off guard. I mean, 
Road Trip doesn't have that much, to be honest. He only has four Marines and a Siege Tank. And he is actually going Bio, the, the thing you spoke about earlier. With Bio being weaker than Mech, he is forced into going Bio now. Yeah, when you're when you're behind like this, um, Bio is like the one thing you can kind of do to catch up. Because if you take if you take a really good engagement where you micro really well, you can turn our game around pretty quickly. Where with Mech doesn't really have that like micro potential, so I don't blame him for going Bio here, even though it is kind of um not the greatest um, unit comp given these spawn positions. I mean, Bio just gets up earlier than Mech does, and if you're behind like that, you really need to not let your Zerg opponent get ahead further, which is what you do by going Bio. Okay, the Mutas have, have retreated, by the way, and he never risks taking his third, so he's now going completely bald, deep, all in, with like an vain Muta, uh, which, admittedly, I don't think will be the best idea. I think Mech running up is a good idea now, because, let's be yeah. honest, your trash is very scared at the moment. Yeah, but he's gonna push out soon once his stim's done. His army's actually looking pretty formidable right now. And um your chat or your wrist doesn't even have the production off three bases right now to um support the Ling Bane he's gonna need to fight this. I maybe he should commit to a couple more mutas with the gas he has. Make a few banelings at home defensively. But yeah, he needs to use these mutas as much as he can, harass, keep your trash in his base as long as possible. Cause if you guys going for a two base spire play play like this, either you're gonna kill your opponent, and if you don't do that, you better freaking take the entire map and just control the hell of, the hell of it out of it while you can. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Because yeah, that's what these mutas offer you. They're really fast, but not very great engagement, so you can just um, harass your opponent for a while, keep them contained. But you see what he's doing right now, he's just trying to kill the leading units for um, your trash coming across the map, getting those two Hellions, that's nice, but that's a hell of a lot of Marines and Medivacs. And, uh, mm. Mainly no creep is, spread either. Yeah, that's true. That, that's one big thing I want to actually talk about. No creep spread and no baneling speed. So he's going to have to take a very good flank or just a very good engagement in general for Zero Trash if he wants to come out of this without any damage being done against him. You see things seizing up against the drones, but oh, look at that. All the banes are flowing in. They're not going to come out of uh, Your Trash wanted to abuse that high ground, but um, uh, your wrist had none of that. He's coming straight down. Your trash wasn't paying attention too much, his splits were alright, but he should have focused fire of those bangs at that siege tank, and that engagement would have went way in his favor. Did he I guess he's not macroing or something. Did, did, did Risk could even lose any drones? I don't think so. I think he lost some. He's lost, he's lost some... No, wait, no he didn't. I'm looking at the wrong way. He's lost only one in this game, and that was his scouting drone, I think. Oh dear. So... I mean... That means that attack was pretty much useless. It kind of reset the units, except for Mutas, which is very important. You want to reset. Obviously, the Zerg player will never want that to happen, so it's not going to. Uh, third base still not being taken for Euro Trash. I mean, does he even have the CC? He does, but he needs to secure it. And he's already going for another push. He's moving out, but Risk has decided to go across the map after taking that massive engagement, and it looks like he's in a... Oh, opening those rocks could really backfire right now, because Risk could just walk in his base. There's no wall stopping him. Crashing the Banelings in right now, killing all the Marines, and I think that is GG. Risk right there. Taking game number two as well with the um, early play. I believe you said it was a 13 pool. I didn't catch that because I was rambling in the early game. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he did a pr pretty early um, Baneling bus right there. Um, not really expected when you when you play on a cross spawn like this. This I think this is the largest distance out of all these maps in the pool, except for maybe... Mine on cross spawn, funny enough. But um, yeah, pulling out the um, aggressive play like that after the last game where your trash did it to risk, returning the favor and it actually worked for risk. So that's got to be a confidence booster, holding his opponent's aggression, and then being able to dish out his own. That's going to give him a lot of um cockiness and confidence going forward. Yeah, you're definitely right. All right, let's hop into game three.